Listen, uh, your next comedian is an accomplished actress as well as a comedian. She's done tons of commercials and voiceovers, and she's very funny. Please welcome, please welcome Miss Mary O'Halloran. Give her a hand. Someone just told me I look like Helen Hunt on crack. So my name's Mary O'Halloran. Whenever I tell people that, they always repeat my name back to me with an Irish accent. Go, Mary O'Halloran. When I tell them I'm a comic, they say, Mary O'Halloran, are you funny? I say, no, it's not that kind of comedy. So I'm from an Irish Catholic family in Boston. My father's a cop. This was very unpleasant for me growing up because he used to pick me up at school with a police cruiser and I was one of the cool kids. I'd say, Dad, I'm not getting in that car. He'd go, get in! <laughs> His actual title was Detective Lieutenant of Homicide with the State Police, which meant he got interviewed on television a lot. And he always did this thing, I don't know if you noticed, that cops, whenever they're on TV, they always have one big word that they know, and they use it over and over and over again. So here's my father on TV. Detective O'Halloran, could you tell us a little bit about the McCarthy murder? Uh, yeah. The suspect entered the house subsequently. <laughs> there was a scuffle. Subsequently, Mr. McCarthy was shot. Subsequently, he died. <laughs> and at Christmas time, my father used to buy our gifts at the prison gift shop. It's the one year I gave him this dollhouse, right? He goes, Mary, you see this dollhouse here? The guy that made this dollhouse killed over eight people. I was afraid to put my little dolls in there. I thought their heads were going to come out severed. My place in L.A. got broken into recently. I called up my father. I said, Dad, my apartment got broken into. They stole my stereo, my TV, my VCR, all my furniture. He said, Ah, I'll tell you who it was. It was somebody strong. <laughs> so I'm hanging out at Gold's Gym, hoping my stuff will just turn up. So I just came back out here from L.A. I was working on a game show that I wrote. It's about L.A. It's called What's My Agenda? <laughs> it's a selfish town. I was at a party there recently, and this girl came up to me. She goes, hey, Mary O'Halloran, hi, how are your holidays? I said, oh, they were pretty good, but, um, well, my grandmother died. She goes, oh, is she okay? <laughs> The name dropping of celebrities is like a sport. And I used to torture people because I'd get back at them and do it subtly. These two girls are in the locker room after Tybo class and they're talking to each other and they go, oh, I was at a party last night and Gwyneth Paltrow was there. And I said, Gwyneth Paltrow? <laughs> she is so mad at me. So I ended a three-year relationship with a guy in L.A. Yeah, you know, you're supposed to go, oh, or something like that. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. On our first date, he told me I reminded him of a famous actress. And I said, really, who? And he said, B. Arthur. <laughs> so we had this really weird dyna dynamic between us. So we went to couples counseling. Has anyone here ever done that? No? No. <laughs> Well, we did. And we had this really crazy woman, this couples counselor, who really wanted to make it work between us. She was wacky. She was always doing these little games. And one day she goes, OK, today we are going to do something that I call sculpturing. Sculpturing is when you are clay, and you mold yourself into clay as to how you feel in the relationship. Let us start with Jonathan. Jonathan, you are clay. Mold. So he goes like this. <laughs> She goes, that's very good, Jonathan. What does that mean? He goes, I feel emasculated by Mary. <laughs> and I'm like, pussy.
Who used to go to Codependence Anonymous because of me? I used to page him there. <laughs> Subsequently, we broke up. I went out with a new guy last night. I should have known he was married though because we were making out in the back seat of his car and he moved the baby seat. <laughs> Kid cried for hours too. I like kids, though. I have a little niece I'm very fond of, but she does this thing that really bothers me. She talks baby talk and she's eight years old. She does. She called me up yesterday. I said, Kelly, how's school? She goes, good. I said, don't talk baby talk to Aunt Mary. When I was your age, I smoked. A lot of my friends have kids and they've really changed. You know how people change when they have kids? They change so much. And I know this because once a year I get these things in the mail and I'm sure you all get them. There's crazy manifestos people write called the Christmas newsletter. I have one right here. This one's from my friend, Kathy Doyle McGiffin. She's hyphenated. Okay. <laughs> Kathy Doyle McGiffin used to go to Grateful Dead concerts twirl around and had a boyfriend named Jake the Bake. Let's see what she's doing now. <laughs> Greetings from snowy Vermont and welcome to the McGiffin family newsletter. Ooh. Jim finally finished the addition to the house, complete with skylight, which shows the vastness of our blessed universe. <laughs> Connor did his first poo-poo in the potty on October 14th. I was so excited, I paged Jim at the office, where he recently became partner. <laughs> so I sent out a little one of my own this year. <laughs> Mine's on black. <laughs> okay. Greetings from the City of Angels. Woke up last week next to someone whose name I still can't recall. <laughs> However, the recent combination of medication seems to be controlling my latest bout of hypersexuality. <laughs> Happy New Year. Oh, P.S. Gwyneth Paltrow is still mad at me. <laughs> Thanks very much. I'm Mary O'Hara and you guys are great. Thank you. Mary O'Hara, super hands.